light, a way to charge your cell phone, and a first aid kit. Those are the top five things you should gather when preparing your hurricane supplies. We're going to look at a first aid kit from Life Gear. They make great lights and survival kits, and I've said many good things about this company's products over the years. But today, they've let me down a little bit. I see several areas for improvement with this specific product of theirs. So let's take this pretty average kit to remind ourselves what we need for hurricane preparedness. Now, to begin with, I'm always a big fan of a waterproof container, and I think this one is the perfect size, and they don't overstuff it. There's plenty of room to add your own stuff, and you'll always want to customize any pre-built kit. And remember, those pre-built kits are always going to flash some big numbers, like 150 pieces. But remember, there counting every single thing separately. So what you really need to do is look for the things that you need, like bandages and medications and tweezers and scissors and a cold compress. Now they also have some generic items for survival in here as well, and I think this is where they fall short. For example, I would never wear this poncho, and I don't need to start a fire, but this paracord is a nice addition. And I'll end with my biggest frustration. Life Gear makes many great flashlights like these, but they decided not to put one of their own in this kit. I'm going to give the Life Gear First Aid and Survival Waterproof Kit a cat 2 out of 5 on my Hurricane Kit Priority Scale. The container is really the best thing it has going for it. It is priced online at about 25 bucks. Now, what is the most important thing in your First Aid Kit? Tell me on my Facebook page. I'm at John Dawson, Fox 26.